What shoes should I wear with those jeans? Are ribs still in? What about crop jeans? Do I have to wear them? What about wash? Do I need light wash or dark wash? I've got the answers to all those questions and more in today's fall and winter denim guide for women over 50. and welcome to today's video. I am so glad you made it here. We are going to talk all things denim, especially as it pertains to fall and winter. I don't know about you, but now that I've kind of put away my linen and my shorts and I'm pulling out more of my jeans, sometimes I get a little stumped. I like, I forgot, what shoes do I wear with these things? <laughs> you've done that too, or maybe you've bought a new pair of jeans, a new cut, and you don't know what shoes to wear or how to wear your shirt, um, or maybe you haven't even purchased denim yet for this year and you want to know which jeans you should buy, which jeans are in and which jeans are out. So we're gonna talk about all of that in today's video. So just sit tight, hang with me all the way to the end of the video so that I make sure I hit the kind of jeans that you are wearing. If this is your first time here, I especially want to welcome you today. My name is Kay. I am a wife and a mom of grown kids. I'm a writer and a speaker. I blog at dressformyday.com and that's where I post every day almost and I just, I just try to encourage and inspire women just like you and me simply to get dressed for our unique days. You know what, I know we're all doing different things. Some of you are running around after grandkids. Some of you are still in the workforce. Some of you are retired. Some of you are volunteering. A lot of us are staying home. <laughs> so whether you work from home like I do or you're out in the, in the workforce, you know what, we, we all end up wearing jeans occasionally. Oh, and by the way, if you don't wear jeans, hang on because I have a video coming up for you too where I'm gonna talk about all the things that you can wear instead of jeans this fall and winter. All right, but today we are focusing on that denim. So let's get started, shall we? There are so many different styles of denim, it's kind of hard to even keep up and we might be wondering what's in style and what's out of style. Well, I'll tell you what's in style anything and everything, just about everything goes. And you know what, ladies, I've determined that denim is kind of a personal choice. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of things that we just get to be individuals in and our denim choices, that's one of those things. And one of the things I have to like really encourage women, especially our age, I don't, I don't know, for some reason, I think the older we get, the more we get stuck in our ways, you know? But y'all, let's give a little grace because different people like different things. And while you may not like cropped jeans, your girlfriend might. Or while you may not like the wide leg, leg cut, your sister just may. So let's give each other grace. Let each other have that freedom of style and choose what we like because right now, everything is in style. <laughs> As long as it's not a pair of jeans that you literally pulled from your closet that you wore in 1982, <laughs> they're probably in style. So you are seeing everything from dad jeans to boyfriend jeans to girlfriend jeans <laughs> to mom jeans. I mean, it's all in style. And yes, are skinny jeans still in style? They actually are. Now, skinny jeans are probably not the most contemporary choice. So if you watched my video about how to look younger instead of looking older, one of the tips I gave was simply to make more modern choices. Instead of trying to look young, just try to look more modern. And one of the best ways that you can look modern is by choosing modern denim. Ladies, that can completely set your, your style apart from other people if you just choose modern denim. Like I said, all styles are going, but you can choose some of those modern um, little nuances to your denim. So what's in? Well, believe it or not, rips and tears and distressing is still in. It has not gone away. 
Once again, if that is just not your bag, that's okay. But give those of us who like to wear a little distressing, a little rip in our jeans or something, give us a break. We're just trying to be modern. And it actually is very modern and youthful to wear that with your jeans. Another thing that I know some of you don't like, but really is in, is different kinds of hemlines. Whether that is a, uh, just a loose hem, uh, you know, an un un unhemmed, you know, edge, or maybe it's a ratty hem. There's even a chewed hem. <laughs> so that's that really gnarly looking hemline. Those are really in. It just has that kind of a casual vibe, a very earthy vibe that lived in. And you know what? That's what your jeans are supposed to be, right? Jeans are supposed to be that lived in favorite. And I think that is why distressing and fading and rips and chewed hems and things like that are so in is because it really gives your jeans that lived in favorited status. So those are still in, but guess what? The other end of the spectrum is still in too. It's perfectly acceptable and chic to wear jeans that are a nice dark finish, even maybe have that trouser look. Those are super in too. So we can all have our jeans <laughs> and give each other some grace and just enjoy wearing what you enjoy wearing. All right, but now let's talk about how to wear them or how to buy them. Let's think about that first. When you're looking for jeans, what should you look for? Well, I like to look, this is personal preference too, but I really like jeans to feel like jeans. I do not like my jeans to be so heavy on the lycra or spandex or polyester part of the equation to where they feel like leggings. I don't mind a jean that's called a jegging, like Talbot's calls theirs jeggings, as long as it has a high percentage of cotton in it. I want my jeans to kind of feel like my Levi's did back when I was in middle school and high school. You know, I got that first pair of Levi's, I think, when I was in the sixth grade. I still remember what they looked like, remember what they felt like. That's what I want my jeans to feel like. So today we can get jeans in blends though. They've really perfected this too. Most brands are doing a great job of creating jeans that have a lot of flexibility, a lot of give and stretch, but also retain their shape. And that is really important. That's why I think it's really important when you're shopping for your jeans to read the reviews. Because often people who have purchased jeans, they'll, they'll give a review and they will state whether or not those jeans are developing baggy knees or a baggy butt <laughs> but after wear. And we don't want that. We don't want to be bagging anywhere. Even when you're wearing your girlfriend or boyfriend jeans, you don't really want like knees that stick out um, or, or waistline that falls down. So you want a jean maybe with that stretch in it, but you don't want it to bag out. So I like a jean that has a high percentage of cotton, but it also has some of that spandex or lycra or some other fabric uh, like those. All right, I also like to look at the measurements on the jean. That's especially important when we're shopping online, which so many of us are doing these days uh, in, because we're still staying home. As you shop online, there are some secrets to actually finding jeans that really do fit you. One thing is to check the inseam. The inseam is the length of the jean from the crotch to the hem. If you don't know what inseam you wear, then go find another pair of pants or jeans that you do love and that fit you and that are the right length for what you want. Measure those, that inseam from the crotch to the hem and that will tell you the inseam that you want to look for. You also want to look at the rise and a lot of times they'll even list a front rise and a back rise. So you want to see the rise. The rise will tell you where the jean is going to go from the crotch to the waistband. So the best thing to do to me for this part of the equation is to check the reviews and people there will tell you where the jean hits them. Does it hit them at the belly button? Does it hit them lower than that? Sometimes also a jean company will say that it's a mid-rise 
when I find it to be more of a high rise or maybe they'll say this is a high rise jean and then I put it on and it really feels more like a mid rise to me. So you'll find that jeans generally um, are low rise, mid rise, or high rise, or even sometimes we're seeing super high rise and that would be above the belly button. A mid rise should hit you right around the belly button the mid rise, oh, that's the high rise, excuse me, the mid rise should hit you just below the belly button an inch or two, and a low rise is gonna hit you around the hips. Really, we're not seeing a whole lot of low rise jeans anymore, and honestly, I don't think any of us need to wear them. <laughs> so stay away from the low rise jeans. And hallelujah that we don't have to wear them anymore. A high rise jean, not necessarily the super high rise, but a high rise that hits right around the navel is really probably gonna be best for most of us gals because it tucks in that little tire <laughs> around our belly. We get that into the pant and it compresses us and it creates a more figure flattering silhouette. So I really suggest a high rise if you, you, know, can, you like that at all. Another measurement actually though that is I like to look for is the leg opening. A lot of times, not all jean brands do this, but some jean brands will tell you the size of the leg opening. And that way, if you have thick, um, thick calves like I do, you can tell whether or not a jean that's supposed to be kind of apart from the leg, maybe it's a straight fit or maybe even a boyfriend fit, and it looks like that on the model in the you know, picture online, but sometimes when I go to put those on, they look like skinny jeans. Well, it's because I have thicker uh, legs, thicker calves. So if I look at that leg opening measurement, then I can begin to know whether or not those jeans are going to fit me the way they do the model in the picture. So that's another measurement to look at. All right, now let's talk washes. What wash should you get? Honestly, the most slimming wash is always going to be a dark wash. But it doesn't end there. Not only do you want a dark wash if you're looking for something that is slimming, but you also want a jean that does not have a lot of fading on it. Wherever there is fading, that is where your eye is going to be drawn to. So if you've got fading up on your thighs, the eye is going to be drawn to the thigh. If you have large thighs, kind of, I think I kind of got chunky thighs too. <laughs> if you have large thighs and you don't want attention at the thighs, then you don't want fading there. If you don't want attention drawn to your derriere, don't buy jeans that have fading there. So it's really important to check the back view of those jeans too before you purchase them or before you buy them uh, once you've tried them on before you keep them. So look for where there is fading. And if you really want a classic look, a really kind of an upscaled look, maybe like for work or a casual Friday or something, then you probably do want a dark wash that is consistent throughout. Now, can you wear a light wash? Of course you can, that is completely up to you. And you know what? The truth is when we wear our jeans, most of the time we're wearing jeans with like a sweater or maybe even a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. We're, we don't have to try to look our skinniest every moment of every day, y'all. I'm 56 and I'm just kind of past that. <laughs> I don't need to look like a supermodel. I don't look like a supermodel and I know that. And so I don't have to buy jeans that always make me look skinny. I am beyond that. I don't know about you. Once again, that's a personal choice. But if you want to wear light wash jeans or you want to wear some jeans with some fading, you go for it and don't you worry about you know whether it's your skinniest look or not. Now let's talk about those different silhouettes of jeans and what in the world to do with them. All right, you've got straight leg jeans, you've got boot cut or flare jeans, you've got wide leg jeans, you've got boyfriend jeans and girlfriend jeans. Girlfriend jeans are usually just a little bit more tailored uh, to the body than boyfriend jeans or they could even be the same thing, depending on how the brand interprets it. Did I say skinny jeans? <laughs> All right, so let's review. We've got straight leg, boot cut or flared, wide leg, boyfriend, girlfriend, and skinny. You could even have trouser jeans, which are kind of the same things as the wide leg, but maybe not quite as wide. So like I said, anything goes, right? All right, 
What do you do though? And then besides that, we have different lengths. You can have a full length gene, an ankle gene, or a cropped gene. Where do you want them to hit? Your full length gene should ha hit just right at the foot or at the floor if they are wide leg or boot cut or they should hit um, just right at the ankle, or the bottom of the ankle if it's a skinny jean, okay? That would be a full length. If it's an ankle jean, then it's going to hit preferably right above the ankle bone, showing a little bit of that ankle bone, making that bone kind of communicates that little, you know, a slenderness to it. So have your ankle jeans hit just above the ankle bone, even up to an inch above the ankle bone. And then a crop jean should hit really kind of just a little bit above an ankle jean, maybe an inch or two above the ankle. You don't want them to hit too high, okay? All right, now, how do you, what shoes do you wear with these things, right? So I'm gonna show you some different looks here and some different shoes that I've paired with different jeans. First of all, these are some straight jeans by NYDJ or Not Your Daughter's Jeans, <laughs> some straight jeans. And because these are a little longer than what I would probably want if I was wearing them with sneakers, I've worn them with a low heel. Uh, and I think they create a nice silhouette. So with your straight jeans though, depending on how long they are, you, and you can have them hemmed to your preference, you wanna wear them with your sneakers, you can wear them with um, loafers, you can wear them with ballet flats or other kinds of flats, or you can wear them with boots, you can wear straight jeans with just about any shoe, other than maybe a, a boot that would go over them. You don't wanna do that because then they blouse out on top, so don't do that. But straight jeans are pretty versatile for um, different shoes and they're very slimming because they're not hugging your curves. Your straight jeans should skim the body from the hip to the ankle, okay? All right, your skinny jeans, I think the reason skinny jeans have stuck around so long is because they are so easy to wear with different shoes too. You can wear skinny jeans with heels. You can wear skinny jeans with flats. Love skinny jeans with flats. You can wear them with sneakers and you can wear them with booties. With booties, you either want your jeans to go into your booties or you want your jeans to sit just above the booties, okay? You don't want them rumpling around over your booties, okay? All right, with your boyfriend and girlfriend jeans, personally, I love them with sneakers or other pretty little flats. I think adding a ballet flat or a pointy toe flat really kind of gives a little feminine touch to this fairly masculine looking jean. So I like that. With your boot cut or flare leg jeans, ideally, I think you need a bit of a heel. Can you wear them with flats? You can, but I think they make your leg look a little stumpier when you wear them with flats. I think they are most flattering if you'll add a heel. So even if maybe you're not a girl that wears heels, maybe wear a wedge heel so that your foot really is a little elevated, but you're not you're not having a bend in your foot, okay? But a heel is really going to elongate. That's what a flare or a boot cut jean does. It really elongates the leg, but it can't do that as well unless you're wearing a heel. Now, if you're gonna wear flats, I suggest you wear a pointy toe flat. Um, that also elongates the leg. What about those cropped jeans though? <laughs> All right, so like for instance, these wide leg crop jeans from Banana Republic, I love these, but they are kind of out there. They are really wide legs, but they are going to look great once again with either flats or sneakers, depending on how you, you know, what, what you wear up top, or they would also look good with a sock booty. A sock booty is simply a boot or a booty that has a shaft that's really close to the leg, even maybe clings to the ankle a little bit. So it creates a really nice line. So those look great with full leg jeans. What about your straight cropped jean? Honestly, that is the hardest jean to figure out what to wear with. You cannot go wrong with flats or sneakers. You, the more ankle you show with those jeans, really the better, but you still don't want them real high, okay? You want them to come down an inch or two above the ankle bone, 
but show a little ankle by wearing them with like a ballet flat or a pointy toe flat or with your sneakers. Or you also could wear them with heels like pumps or a sandal for a little classier look. And then you can wear them with a sock booty, but that's about the only booty that you're gonna wear them with is a sock booty or maybe a lace-up booty, one that has a shaft that's close to the leg. All right, boy, we have really covered a lot of ground. I don't know if I answered every single question out there. That was my intent, <laughs> but I have kept you long enough. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And also, I hope you will visit me at dressformyday.com because I guarantee you that I'm also addressing this at the blog right now. So be sure and check me out there. I'd encourage you to follow me also on Instagram and Facebook and Pinterest. Those are places I hang out. In fact, the place I hang out the most is probably Instagram. So I hope you'll follow me there. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel before you leave. All right, and I will see you again really soon. Bye now.